everyone. I just wanted to talk for a minute about this collage project for fodder school. It was by Julie Hamilton and probably one of my favorite fodder school projects that we've done. And there are a lot of really good ones. So I just wanted to talk for a minute about how this project came together. It was so much fun making all the papers and I definitely learned a lot. I think one of the biggest things that I learned is that um, all glues are not created equal. I tried a couple of different kinds of glues to get these papers to stick and I didn't have the one that she recommended so I ended up having to use what I had which is great but um, I did try the Liquitex, um, the fluid medium, the matte medium and it worked okay but I did forget a step in where she soaked her papers before she glued them on and that would have been very very helpful except I realized as I was gluing some of these papers like these here and um, some of them in the background like this one here I actually ended up using watercolor because I was trying to stick with my limited palette and I didn't even think about the collaging part when I was making papers and um, so you can kind of see a little bit how the watercolor started to bleed and also some of the watercolor papers were really thick and I couldn't get them to stick very well. But all in all, I, I did learn a lot and I would definitely try this project again. The glare is kind of, I know it's kind of a, let's see if we can get rid of that glare. I used a whole bunch of different things. Like I used some acrylic paint pens, Posca pens. Um, I tried deli paper. I tried tissue paper. I tried um, just regular copy paper, watercolor paper. And I just love some of the parts that turned out. This circle, I used just a little, um, was like a, a paper towel roll, but it was really, really thin. I mean, small, it was small and I used it for these circles. And then I ended up doing some morning pages with my paint pens. This one here, I used a stencil and my son, I was showing my son how to make stencil images on paper and ended up using that because I really liked it. These were for my morning pages with a large Posca pen and I ended up cutting those out because I liked them. I did try to incorporate some of the grays and the blacks in all of them. And um, overall, it was just a really great project and I learned so much. I did cover it with the Liquitex Gloss Medium, but to get my collage, my um, the, the whole, the collage board, when I put all the papers together to get it to stick, I ended up having to use Mod Podge and that's what I finally got it to stick with onto the board. And then um, I ended up doing the gloss medium over it. So I'm really happy with this. I really love how it turned out and I definitely, definitely will be making more of these in the future since these are going on the wall in my studio. Thanks for watching.